California Muslim just went on TV to say it's time to start annihilating Americans. Big mistake. Muslims throughout America are beginning to become bolder with their disdain for the country they live in by publicly expressing their immediate plans for destruction from within. Either they are used to getting away with spreading such hatred after 8 years of Barack Obama supporting it, or they have become desperate in realizing that with President Trump in charge, things are not in their favor. There's no more hiding from their violent intentions now after one Islamic leader in Northern California went on television to call all Muslims out of hiding to start a total annihilation of certain Americans that Muslims hate the most. This proved to be a bad move for the murderous imam despite the mainstream media refusing to cover this story adequately after it happened. Liberal politicians are still claiming that Islam is a religion of peace regardless of this imam's own horrific words which happened in nearly the same time frame as a Somali Muslim saying he could kill anyone he wants. After getting his bachelor's degree in Islamic studies from Egypt, Imam Amar Shaheen came to America in 1999, got a computer engineering degree, and is now a hate preacher with the Islamic Center of Davis in Northern California. The center records their rhetoric. Seemingly not hiding what liberals refuse to see and that Islam is a death cult and not a religion of peace. Proof of this was when Shaheen was allegedly encouraging American Muslims to eliminate Jewish people and praying for the death of Jewish people during a sermon on Friday. The Blaze reported. Israel National News reports. In it, he cited a hadith, according to which the Muslims would fight the Jews on Judgment Day, and prayed to Allah to liberate the Al. Aqsa Mosque from the filth of the Jews and to annihilate them down to the very last one, not sparing any of them. O oh Allah, make this happen by our hands. Let us play a part in this. He prayed in the sermon, which was posted on the Davis Masjid YouTube channel. The call for the elimination of Jews starts with those in America but extends into other areas where Jewish people are most prevalent around the world. Shaheen preached what he said was the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad who said that it's the responsibility of all Muslims to deal death to the Jewish people. The Imam's televised hate-filled sermon came on the same day that violent riots broke out in Jerusalem over Israeli officials putting metal detectors around the Al-Aqsa Mosque, an Islamic holy site in Jerusalem. This was out of concern for Jew safety, for obvious reasons since they are perpetually targeted by Muslims trying to honor Allah by killing them. The riots resulted in a terrorist attack at this specific location which killed six people. As a result, Shaheen prayed specifically for Allah to eliminate the Jews around the Al-Aqsa Mosque, with the same obnoxious, droning, and repetitive sounds of the daily call to prayer. Shaheen repeated the call to killing Jews, in all Lokarians throughout the world, in his sermon. Allah does not change the situation of people until they change their own situation. The Prophet Muhammad said, Judgment Day will not come until the Muslims fight the Jews, and the Jews hide behind stones and trees, and the stones and the trees say, O Muslim, O servant of Allah, they will not say, O Egyptian, O Palestinian, O Jordanian, O Syrian, O Afghan, O Pakistani. The Prophet Muhammad says that the time will come, the last hour will not take place until the Muslims fight the Jews. There's nothing peaceful about a message of death on people of a specific religion that disagree with theirs. Where's the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, on this? Or liberals across America who preach for equality of all? Why is nobody outraged that a religion in America is openly calling for the annihilation of Jewish people in this country and around the world? Not as a suggestion but as an order from their god. Shaheen should be deported for encouraging the killing of other Americans since it seems that his only purpose of being in this country is to bring about the death of its citizens from within.